Good morning YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to discuss stereotypes and I'll cover four things in this video. Firstly, the stereotype placed on women, then the stereotype placed on people in the IT industry, then the truth, and then lastly, what can we do about it? So firstly, the stereotype placed on women, and there are many of them, but I'll just focus on a few points. Um, directly related to also working in IT. So the first stereotype is that all women want to grow up and have kids, have a family, take time off work to do that, and that they're the, the primary carer for the children. Although this is true in some cases, it's a, it is a stereotype. And in the workplace, this can often lead to people assuming that you won't get into a good leadership position or a high up position because you need to take care of your family and that is your primary concern. But my question is, why can't you do both? Why can't I have a child, a family, be a caring mother and also have a leadership position? I don't think I'm incapable of both and I know there are women out there who do do both. Uh, for example, the New Zealand Prime Minister, she has a family and children and is also the Prime Minister of New Zealand. So that is a good example of that stereotype not really coming to fruition in a lot of people's minds and showing that it can be broken. Another stereotype placed on women is that we're more caring, more nurturing, more sympathetic. And although that is true in a lot of cases and it is biologically a thing where women are tend to be more sympathetic, I do think that that's a stereotype placed on women as gender a lot of the time. This also places a stereotype on women that they'd be better for nursing jobs, they'd be better at teaching because of those traits that we tend to have. Now, although this is true and a lot of women are better teachers and better nurses because of these traits that they have, we're completely forgetting about the men here. Men can be sympathetic, men can be very caring and very nurturing. It's the same way women don't need to be nurturing or caring and, you know, can be the same as men. And I just think, Having these stereotypes and promoting these stereotypes leads to kids thinking I'd be better as a teacher or I'd be better as a nurse because I'm a girl and girls are nurturing and caring and that's what we're meant to be. That's not the case. Yes, we may be more nurturing and more caring. That does not mean that men aren't and that does not mean that we have to be nurses or teachers because of it. And this kind of leads into my last point about the stereotypes placed on women and that is that we are too emotional or too, too emotional for a particular leadership role. And this one's close to my heart because I, I'm quite an emotional person. I find it hard to, to hide my emotions and my emotions do often come into my work just because of how passionate I am about it. This does put a thought in a lot of people's minds that you can't be emotional if you're a leader. Emotion can't be part of leadership. And I think that is completely incorrect. I think emotion should be in everything. That's how we connect with each other. And if you're leading a team and you come across like a brick wall you know people aren't going to relate to you they're not going to want to work with you they're not going to understand where you're coming from if you're not showing your emotion behind it and again we go back to the case of men can be emotional too and we need to promote the fact that being emotional is not a bad thing and that anyone can be emotional and it doesn't show weakness it shows passion it shows understanding it shows sympathy for other people and i think we need to push that narrative a lot more to men and women. Now I'd like to talk about the stereotype placed on people in the IT industry and talk about how that might contradict with some of the stereotypes placed on women. The classic stereotype placed on people in IT is that we are nerdy, we are geeks, we are naturally intelligent and we just love to sit and write code every day. There is also this subtext to all of that that we can't be glamorous or we can't be beautiful because we work in IT and we have to wear a hoodie and we have to code and not wear makeup and not be you know not channel both sides of things particularly women in that sense and I think this is a really interesting stereotype because first of all what you wear and what you look like should have nothing to do with the job that you do but also not everybody in IT is naturally gifted with being able to code or being able to understand architecture of, of big, big, you know, platforms. It's just, it doesn't come naturally to most people. And although we're interested in it and we want to learn it, that's what drives us. It's not the natural gift of coding and it's not everyone's passion. And IT isn't just filled with coders anyway. So to say that we're all 
nerdy geeks that love to code day in day out even outside of work and it comes to us naturally is completely false um, and this is all pushed by the stereotype that we like to hack as well that we just love to hack into systems that we know how to fix every IT device in the world because we work in IT and that is a really funny stereotype because even family members of mine will assume I know how to fix their DVD player because I work in IT which is just hilarious to me but it is this stereotype that if you work in IT you know technology in and out and it comes naturally to you and that's not the case really I'm a business person but I just happen to work in the software industry and software is really fascinating to me and I'm very interested in it but day in day out I'm a business person. The other stereotype that frustrates me a little bit about people that work in IT is that we're not creative people, that we're very, you know, analytical, love to sit and write code, or we're very businessy, but we're not creative people. And I think this is another frustrating part of the stereotype around IT because I myself did an interactive visual design degree as well as IT. And everyone who works in the IT industry has to be creative because there are so many ways to do things and being creative is coming up with new ideas to do things and to visualize things. Writing code is writing a visual screen. We're not writing code and it just sits as code. It creates screen, which is visual. So developers have to sit and picture things and they have to design things and figure out how it's going to look. And I just think that the stereotype that you can't be capable of being creative and being an IT person is just ridiculous and also completely untrue because you have to have some creative bones in you to work in the IT industry. So now I'd like to talk about the truth of stereotypes and the truth about women and the truth about IT. First of all, absolutely anyone can work in IT. The second thing is you do not have to write code to be in the tech industry. Women in tech are rising in the tech industry. We're becoming more prominent and we're becoming more understood. You do not have to be an unemotional, geeky nerd to work in IT. I feel like that should, that should be just a known fact, but unfortunately it's not, but you do not have to be. I'd like to talk just briefly about how we can actually break these stereotypes day to day and what some of the things that people in IT can do to actually break the stereotypes. First of all, be a role model. Put yourself out there, tell people what you do, let them understand that you're not the stereotype that they're picturing in their brain and that you're more than that and you're a role model to everyone in the IT industry who's younger than you who looks up to you but also to everyone outside who has those stereotypes and doesn't understand. Education is key. I think these kinds of stereotypes need to be broken way back in school. They need to be broken by kids' parents. Kids' parents need to push the narrative that anyone can do anything and that IT is just one other place that you can end up and you don't have to write code to get there. I want everyone to be the voice of change, particularly in IT. If you someone, see someone making an assumption about you or referencing a stereotype about you, call them out on it. Let them know that that's not okay and stereotypes aren't the way of the world and that we shouldn't be thinking that way and we should all be working towards breaking them and thinking that anyone could be anything and we shouldn't make assumptions. Don't feel like you need to change to work in IT. Don't feel like you have to wear the hoodie, that you have to look the part. Don't feel like you can't wear whatever you want and that you won't be accepted in IT. And don't feel like you have to be technical and write code to be accepted into IT. You can be an IT person and not have to look like the stereotype. Okay, so that's all I wanted to talk about today. Um, thank you for listening. I hope that you've taken some things away from this video and that we can all work together from here on out to break the stereotypes for women, for IT, and for women in IT.